education officials, parents and the political leadership met to interrogate what could be the reasons for the region's poor average performance. Dongali Nena, Diona and Mashari constituency councillors organized a post-mortem at the request of the community. The poor performance resulted in concerns and outcries among our communities and whispering of how about having this particular engagement started. Of great concern is the inability of secondary schools to produce sufficient learners to qualify for university admission over the past years. Regional Education Director Fanuel Kapapero says concerns of poor infrastructure are genuine and will be addressed when resources are available. Particularly at Lina Shashi Papa Secondary School, we have an aging infrastructure that urgently, I need to say urgently, requires renovation. I know that uh, it is a capital project and uh, there are promises, there are actually good promises that it will be re renovated before the end of this year. Kapapero noted that Rundur Yunam's campus was not producing senior secondary teachers, which makes it difficult to appoint qualified teachers, especially for rural schools. Of course, it has major impact on the, on, on, on the, on the outcome of the learners. Because if you have uh, primary teachers teaching at senior secondary school, surely the content may not be, of course, the same. We would expect that the primary teacher would teach at the primary, and then senior secondary teachers would then teach at senior secondary schools. Shamangura Senior Secondary School failed to send a single learner to university over the past three years, while Lino Shashi Papa managed to qualify 16 learners from out of more than 160 for grade 12 examinations in 2018. With the grade 10 results, they are mixed and fluctuate while some schools perform well some years, with results dropping in others.